All right, we are in section two, knock technician overview. Let's get right into it, guys. All right, what is a knock tech? All right, a knock tech is somebody who is tasked with overseeing complex network com components. So, for example, when I work daily, um, you know, we look we look over routers. We're looking at access points, making sure what the connection is stable. You know, the customer has a proper connection. So we're tasked for overseeing that and we use a ticketing system, which we're going to talk about later on in the course to get those updates, those alerts. So those are our daily tasks. We perform network management and troubleshooting as needed um, on anything technical, technological related. So let's move on. Salary. I know people like to talk about the salary. What is the salary of a knock tech? So entry level, you can see yourself making what 31 K. Medium level, 45,000 and high level senior, 65 to 66,000 or more. Um, th but the average salary of a knock technician is 45,000. And that's roughly what, $22 an hour. Um, not bad, entry level role. Uh, lead knocks. So in the field, I met many lead knocks who are very experienced. I'm talking about like one, two, three years of experience in a knock. These are high level guys and gals. You know, they get compensated more for their skills and experience. What? They're high level. They deserve to get compensated for that. And um, they work close with the managers and oversee multiple um, tasks. All right, let's move on. Now, how do you become a knock technician? Good question. Education wise, 50% have bachelor's degree, 35% associates, 4% masters, and 5% high school diploma. That's it from the education standpoint, um, STEM degrees. In reality, it is possible to become a not tech with only a GED. That is possible. I, yeah, I met some people in the workforce who own, who got in with just a GED. It is possible. I've seen it. Um, but to have the best shot, you know, having that STEM degree could really help you stand out. Certifications could give you a leg up, and we're gonna get to that later on in this video about, you know, my the top five networking certifications that could help you become a not tech and the third networking and experience you know talking with recruiters talking with people in the field could you know get you in those positions quickly all right knock technician knock technician career path so you don't have to be a knock tech for the rest of your life you can actually parlay that into different fields one field network engineer and i see this a lot in the field <laughs> i'm telling you a lot um, a lot of knock techs become network engineers rather quickly. I think around what, two, around year two, they start becoming network engineers. It's possible. Uh, system admins, I see that too. Um, and again, certifications and experience can help give you that leg up, can help you reach those higher level position. Now, certifications, this is the part where everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about certifications. Let's get right into it. First one up, CCNA. Telling CCNA, one of the top certifications, not gonna lie. Um, especially if you're studying for your CCNA, you know, you're labbing, you're doing, you're in packet tracer, you know, it's gonna give you, it's gonna really help you when you get on the job because you've already been practicing outside the job. So, yeah, CCNA, again, it's gonna help you a lot. Uh, CCMP, I mean, <laughs> if you got a CCMP, I mean, you should be like, come on, going for a knock engineering role. But hey, let's say you want to go for a knock tech role. Okay, cool. CCMP, I could give you a leg up. But you don't want to be a paper cert. You know, you just you don't you don't want to have just a certification and not have the skills that you know you've been quote unquote certified for. That's why you might want to make sure you're labbing, you're practicing, you're studying. You actually got that cert legit. All right. Um, next up, uh, Network Plus. You know, very popular certification. Again, could give you that basic fundamental networking skills that can help you on the job. All right, that's a really popular one. Next up, J, uh, Juniper, <laughs> J-N-C-I-A. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know about this one, but especially at work, we do have customers that use Juniper. So this could really help you if you're certified in Juniper Technologies. It could really give you a leg up and um, help assist customers dealing with that particular vendor. And then the last one, Network Security Professional, this is Fortinet. Um, 
I don't know if a lot of people know about this cert, but this could really help you when you're dealing with, you know, Ford Internet uh, equipment. All right, let's move on to the next slide. Top three knock technician skills. And this is, this is the top three. From what I've seen so far, these are gonna help you a lot. Customer service. Again, if you know, you guys saw the About Me video. I've been in customer service for what? Five years. Five years. <laughs> Half a decade. And I'm telling you, it helps. Because when we're, when we're on the job, we're dealing with customers. A lot of people think, oh, I'm gonna get into IT. I'm, I'm not gonna talk to any customers. I'm just gonna talk to computer. No, customers are everywhere. So it's best that you, what, develop good habits, good communication skills to build a strong relationship with customers. Why? Because that's the bulk of the business. No customers, no business, and you don't got a job. You know? So make sure your customer skills, customer service skills are on point. Next up, network security. I'm telling you, security is important with a lot of IoT, internet things popping up. You got to secure the network. Got to make sure, you know, you're not giving away your password. You're not, not sharing PPI, uh, protected personal information. You got to watch out for that stuff, especially in the knock. Make sure you're not sharing IP addresses. Make sure you're not leaving ports open, you know, general stuff like that. So make sure you have a great fundamental uh, understanding on security because that's going to help you in the knock. Uh, troubleshooting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're gonna be troubleshooting a lot in the knock. Oh, the router's down. Oh, I don't got internet. Oh man, what's going on? Troubleshooting. And it's basically another word for problem solving. So you're gonna be doing that a lot in the knock. Make sure you know how to fix problems and make sure you, if you go through a problem, you write down notes so next time you could easily fix the problem. So make sure you have all these three skills, customer service, network security, and troubleshooting. And that's gonna give you a leg up in the knock. All right. So basically, in summary, to summarize this uh, lecture, knock technicians, you are able with that skill and experience, you're able to bring that to other IT areas, which we just shown network engineering, system admin, SOC too. You could transfer that to a SOC too. Um, second point, this is a great position in IT to learn the fundamentals of networking. Networking, it's the fundamentals for everything. Computers, nodes talking to each other. You got to understand the network. I'm telling you, you got to understand it. <laughs> Three, knock technician positions are great starting positions for those looking to break into IT. I can't can't agree with this more. If you're looking to break into IT, you got the help desk, knock. I'll say go for the knock because while you get that networking experience, customer service experience, troubleshooting experience, you could parlay that into many different fields. All right, so that is the summary of this lecture. Hopefully this was informative. Feel free to download this uh, PDF <laughs> after the lesson's over. Is yours to keep, share it, go on. And yeah, I'll see you in the next course. Take care guys.